Hi folks, I'm meteorologist Sergio Lozano. Well, we still have a few clouds left over from this morning, rain showers and storms that developed out to the west. Right now, temperatures are still warm, mid 80s here in San Antonio, 87 degrees at this hour, still up down in south side of San Antonio at 87 degrees. Rainfall just kind of fizzled out as it made its way toward the area. Unfortunately, it ran into some drier air and as it did so, it just kind of fell apart. Right now, we're just left with a few showers left over down around Catula. Big rain fell this morning though across the western part of our region. La Prior down to Eagle Pass and then up, up, up northward toward Del Rio saw six to eight inches of rain. Some reports close to 10 inches of rain and all that water has got to go down somewhere. It's going down the Rio Grande Valley, down to the Rio Grande Valley, down the Rio Grande River where they're going to see significant flooding downstream over the next several days. The reason we had all that rain, well, there's a low pressure system out to the west, and unfortunately, it was supposed to move eastward, and it's not doing so. Unfortunately, it's starting to back up to the west. It's called retrograding, and that's going to continue and pull away all our rain chances. And we're going to have to wait till a weak cold front gets up down here. Right now, that cold front's still up to our north, just going through the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. And you can see there's a few showers that are lining up along that cold front. But unfortunately, it's just not going to be a good rainmaker for us. All that heavy rain starting to fizzle out now down across McAllen, Harlingen, and Brownsville down there, where they too saw some pretty good rainfall. Look at the rain over the next several hours. It's going to be well out to our west. Those northerly winds behind that cold front will be making its way across the region, and that should allow for some slightly cooler mornings at least. 85 degrees right now. It will cool off for the Friday night light games tonight. It'll still be pretty humid tonight, so you're going to want to take frequent water breaks. A little bit cooler across the hill country, 63 degrees out in Kerrville and Fredericksburg. But back here in San Antonio, we'll be bottoming it out around the low 70s. Close to 90 degrees tomorrow afternoon under more sunshine, drier air. But the good news, it will cool off tomorrow night pretty significantly once that sun sets. And temperatures will be down into the low to mid 60s across the hill country here in San Antonio, right around 70 degrees. But those temperatures are going to really climb Sunday afternoon. Temperatures around the mid 90s. That's a good 10 degrees above average for this time of year. And unfortunately, we just don't have any cold fronts heading this way anytime soon. Over the next couple of days, we're going to see temperatures close to around 90 degrees. Those humid conditions will start to trend back a little bit and allow temperatures to cool off at night into the 60s. And then there are some indications that by next Friday, we'll see a pretty good cold front come through here with better chances of rain and hopefully some real fall weather temperatures. Hi folks, I'm meteorologist Sergio Lozano. Well, we still have some cloud cover left from this morning's shower and thunderstorm activity that just never really made it too far into San Antonio. Right now though, 86 degrees here in San Antonio, a little bit cooler across Universal City where it's 84 degrees. That rain just made its way to San Antonio and just kind of completely collapsed, went its way down toward Corpus Christi where it's falling apart still. And unfortunately, we just didn't see much rainfall here in San Antonio. Now out to the west, Look at these rainfall amounts, six to eight inches, some places picking up close to 10 inches of rain, and all that rain's got to go somewhere. It's going to go down the Rio Grande River, down towards Zapata and Laredo. They're going to be dealing with flooding concerns for the rest of this afternoon and into the rest of the week, to be honest with you. The low pressure system responsible for all the rain is well out to our west now, and unfortunately, it's not moving eastward. It's going to continue to move away from us, taking the rain chances with it. And we're going to have to depend on a very weak frontal boundary that's just now beginning to make its way across the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. You can see there's a few showers that are dotting along that cold front, but as they're making their way southward, they're kind of, kind of fizzling out as well. All that heavy rain is really dying out down across the Rio Grande Valley, where there, too, saw some good rainfall rain rates from these uh, last storm system. L low pressure system will continue to move away and keeping that rain to the west. Here, uh, that low cold front is going to bring in drier air and hopefully some slightly cooler morning temperatures. 85 degrees, that's where we're starting out for the football games. They're cool off to the low 70s by tomorrow morning. Cooler across the hill country where the dry air is. 63 when you wake up tomorrow morning, but look at these temperatures by the afternoon. Close to 90 degrees for afternoon high temperatures in the middle of October. Yes, that is a correct graphic. 70 degrees when you wake up on the first thing Sunday morning, so that dry air will make its presence known. 63 degrees and maybe even a few 50s in the low lying areas of the hill country, but look at these temperatures. 10 degrees above average on Sunday afternoon, 93 degrees here in San Antonio. And we're just going to have to be patient to get a good cold front to come in here, and it's not going to happen probably for another week or so. So 80 degrees for the rest of the weekend on the afternoon highs. Low temperatures will cool down into the 60s, but look at these afternoon highs maintaining to the 90s. And then there's some indications by computer models that by next weekend we'll see a good cold front, and that will hopefully bring some real fall air to the area.